The five-step ECG analysis consists of 1. Determine the rate of the rhythm. 2. Determine the regularity of the rhythm. 3. Determine the QRS duration. 4. Determine the presence of P waves. 5. Determine AV conduction. Step 1. Determine the rate of the rhythm. Method 1. The 6-second method. Count number of R waves on the 6-second strip and multiply by 10. Method 2. The big box method. Divide 300 by the number of big boxes in between two consecutive R waves. The big box method is only used for regular rhythms. Step 2. Determine the regularity of the rhythm. Regular rhythm means constant R to R interval. Regularly irregular rhythm means variable R to R interval with a pattern. Irregularly irregular rhythm means variable R to R interval with no pattern. Step 3. Determine the QRS duration. The QRS complex represents ventricular depolarization. To measure the QRS complex, count the number of small boxes from the beginning to the end of the QRS complex, then multiply by 0.04 seconds. The normal range of QRS is 0.06 to 0.12 seconds. Step 4. Determine the presence of P waves. In lead 2, the P wave is typically a small positive deflection from the isoelectric baseline that occurs just before the QRS complex. Step 5. Determine AV conduction. Atrioventricular, AV, conduction is evaluated by assessing the relationship between the P waves and QRS complexes. The P wave and QRS complex have a one-to-one -one relationship, meaning that for every P wave, a QRS complex is conducted. The PR interval measures the time of depolarization of the atria to depolarization of the ventricles and reflects a physiological delay in AV conduction imposed by the AV node. To measure the PR interval, count the number of small boxes between the beginning of the P wave and the beginning of the QRS complex, then multiply by 0.04 seconds. The normal PR interval is between 0.12 and 0.20 seconds. In conclusion, the five-step ECG analysis consists of 1. Determine the rate of the rhythm. 2. Determine the regularity of the rhythm. 3. Determine the QRS duration. 4. Determine the presence of P waves. 5. Determine AV conduction.